slightly different decks, but pretty similar type of matchup here, Corey. Yeah, and similar type of matchups, but very high stakes. Matt Sperling and Andre Strotsky in the MPL and Rivals League, uh, Andre and MPL, really high stakes here. They're starting to narrow in on the matches where you start to get points, let alone a top eight. So very huge matchup right now, or very huge match, I should say. All right, well, let's get things underway here. Starting things off with Swamp Thoughtseize from Andre Strotsky. Swamp Witches Oven, excuse me. Gonna get that down on the battlefield before anything can go uh, awry from Matt's burning side of things. Finds a Gilded Goose, and now we're gonna fire off the Thought Season, take a look and see what Matt's burning's working with. What would you take here, Corey? Um, you know, the big problem being Yasharn for these sacrifice decks, though we do have the answer to it with Chandra, so maybe that's not the card you deal with. Maybe it's just Aethergust to protect that play that we saw last round here um, that Brad Nelson made with Aethergusting Chandra with that plus ability on the top. Um, mm -hmm. So looking to protect that and a really smart play from Strasky with what uh, Matt drew there. Yeah, finding another copy of Yasharn, Implacable Earth, a second Thoughtseize now going to be fired off here by Strasky to take a look and see exactly what was drawn and start dismantling this hand here of Matt Sperling. That's going to be bad news for Strasky. Yeah, definitely. And looking at the list here, we do see Strasky's list basically the same, you know, and they, uh, they, I believe they live in the same house. Is that correct? Uh, used to? Not used anymore, to. though. Yes. Okay, okay, gotcha. But, of course, tested together on the Czech team. Mm -hmm. um, Matt Sperling's list, quite different. We actually see two Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Something that we haven't really seen in these Soltai-ish lists, but you are playing blue and white. Why not, right? <laughs> yeah, why not, right? Just splash yeah. for Medium Pig and for Teferi. Why not? Yes, yes. Chandra Torture Defiance getting to work on the life total there of Matt Sperling, dealing two points of damage by exiling that card off the top. Crag Crown Pathway being found to get a green source going, so that's going to be great mm -hmm. to get the Gilded Goose down. First things we... first, let's get Chandra going. Here we go again. I believe we're going to see this reason why Chandra isn't exact. Oh, didn't we have... Is Interesting. Yeah, Matt didn't want to ether gust that. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. That seems like such a good thing to do against this uh, Planeswalker here. Unless we really just plan on naturally attacking it down with Nyssa? Perhaps, yeah. Aethergust could be res reserved for something like a Mayhem Devil, but that resolves as well. And hmm. uh, Gilded Goose stays in hand. Here comes the Aethergust. Going to send away one of these permanents, perhaps. Sperling's thinking about it. I'm really shocked at that play, to be honest. So one thing that would make a lot of sense here, if um, if if Matt had another land for Nissa, the the fact that you would just be, and I mean that's that's perfect here. The fact that it maybe prevents Andre from drawing another card next turn by putting it on top because the Planeswalker is quite good right now, mm -hmm. and with Nissa animate a land and then animate another land the next turn, it might be pretty easy to pressure Chandra. Yeah. But without having that fifth land to for sure lock up that play, it's slightly risky, but maybe just a calculated risk that Matt is completely fine to do. Yeah, for sure. And if you don't find the lands for Nissa, then at least your Sharn can come on down and go find those that plane in that forest. But uh, we did find the land off the top. Nissa, who shakes the world, comes on down and is going to start getting to work on the life total here. Or... Just hang up, hang back, and uh, be on defense. Yeah, and whatever land we pick, guessing the watery grave. Um, since you do have just a one mana black card in the in the form of Fatal Push, you don't really have to animate one of your you know quote unquote super lands, the Zagoth Triumph or the <laughs> Abzan Triumph. Um, still makes it if. Uh, Andre were to destroy the Watery Grave for whatever reason, then Fatal Push could take out Mayhem Devil with Revolt. Mayhem Devil's going to jump in the way of the Watery Grave. Seems to be happy to trade. Hmm. Thinking long and hard about this block, what, what do you what do you think here? What would you do? I think I would be inclined to not block. 
Um, and just Chandra, maybe down tick on watery grave. That wouldn't work out too well with the known fatal push. Yeah, I guess you block, but this really is a, a pretty rough spot uh, for Andre. I'm also pretty shocked that Andre didn't play the Gilded Goose um, just to get it out there. It could have been fatal pushed right away, but you do get to sacrifice it to the oven and you got to play it eventually. It's going to get hit eventually. Yeah. So Mayhem Devil down and out, as well as the Watery Grave. There's the Chandra, Torture Defiance off the top. Leaving open black mana in case of... What are we looking for? Just to land more damage to face. Mythos of Nethroi. Well, that's an answer for a Planeswalker. That's pretty solid here. Depending on how many cards we have in Graveyard, it might just be, uh, you know, Mithros, bring back Uro if uh, the count adds up. Or if anything, Yasharn, get a couple lands, untap Mithros. Chandra just seems like a insanely play, insanely good play to put Matt Sperling in the uh, full driver's seat here. Yeah, so I didn't find another land. Like, like you mentioned, the several options here uh first mm -hmm. things first though looks like we're gonna go for big old pig yasharn implacable earth prevent Ooh. any sacrifice yeah actually that's uh that's medium pig um medium yeah. pig my bad yeah yeah sorry Excuse to me. correct you on that one ailey my bad it's the biggest pig in the <laughs> format okay 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 <laughs> <laughs> there we go finds the one forest he's able to and uh i wonder when we're gonna see this mythos fired off where if we're just happy to Pressure, Yash oh, we you want to get that off the battlefield before it can minus on Yasharn, right? This is this card is just way too good. So this attack in here yep. is going to prevent that minus three. Ooh. Oh, I hate Corvold. Well, I think the play I would have made um, from Matt's side would have had me severely punished by this draw. Just getting Chandra off the battlefield with Mithros, and then Corvold would have just taken over. So excellent play by Matt. Not you know, using all of his resources to deal with Chandra, which will be dealt with just naturally through combat next turn and mm -hmm. saving that Mithras to be able to just kill Korvold um, in response to the sacrifice trigger here is going to be huge. Yeah, such versatile cards, the Mythos are. Great cycle from uh, Akoria. Yeah. yeah. Here comes the big old dragon. Korvold, Fakehurst King, is going to come on down, munch on something, draw a card, and get a counter. If that's a medium dragon, I don't even, life doesn't even make sense anymore because this dragon has to be the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met some of the other dragons? Come now. Oh, uh, good point. Good point. They're enormous. That's true. <laughs> and anybody wondering what the big pig actually is, that's Enray's Forerunner. We saw that uh, dominate a mythic championship here by Andrea Mangucci. Oh, yeah. Pain bacon itself. And uh, oh, with. Yeah. Corbold Fakers King dealt with the mythos, mythos of Nethroi. We're going to go to game number two here. Matt Sperlin picking up the first game. What does Strasky <laughs> have to do differently? 100% copy is exactly what Yvonne Flock, how, how he sideboarded, is going to be my guess. When a team works, you know, this closely together, you have specific plans, especially for the best deck. And we saw how fast Andre Strasky sideboarded there. This is not his first rodeo sideboarding against uh, this, <laughs> this deck. So Noxious Grasps are plenty. You want to try and make sure yep. to kill the big pig, kill the Nyssa, even mm -hmm. kill the Teferi. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Noxious Grasp, um, you know, uh, is a card. Uh, Teferi is a card we didn't see in the last match here from Brad Nelson, but Noxious Grasp hits Teferi as well here. So it really makes sense why they chose to play four of that card. I know the testing team I was watching, Eli Cassis was a big fan of playing four Noxious Grasps as well. Just such mm -hmm. a powerful card in the metagame right now. That just goes to show what a what an impact that Yasharn and Placable Earth has had on the metagame, especially mm -hmm. in Historic, when there's so many sacrifice decks going around. You know, we see the Jun sacrifice, we see Rakdos sacrifice, the Neo Storm combo even. It's just yeah. so good in so many matchups. And even in the matchups is not great, it's still a 4-4 body that finds your land drops, so... No kidding. Yeah, a 4-4 four four that gets you two lands is already just an insane card. Adding that extra piece of text really puts it over the edge. All right, so a mulligan here from Strasky is going to send back Chandra Torture Defiance. The single copy thereof. 
And just a snap keep there from Matt. Just has everything oh. you want. Two lands, grow spiral, Yasharn. That's that's oh. enough for me right there. That that would be enough for me to keep. And this is a plenty now too, with the second yes. one being drawn. So this is looking pretty darn good here for Matt Sperling. Definitely so far. We do need some some extra lands here. Uh, you need just one more for sure for your Sharn, and then your mana problems are pretty much uh, done with. Mm -hmm. Consideration here between Midnight Reaper or Mayhem Devil. Yeah, I like getting down Midnight Reaper first, just in case a removal spell is fired off for Matt Sperling. You get that extra value. You get to draw that extra card and find a fourth land, which Andre desperately needs right now. Yes, indeed. Looking for land number three here. Ooh. Doesn't find one. Ooh. Okay, I said one Nissa was good. Two and three, though? Mm. Yeah, if you look at Matt's hand, uh, he has not rearranged from how he has drawn cards. And the four cards he's drawn is two Nissas, Narset, and Thoughtseize. <laughs> <laughs> Just about the worst sequence of draws you could uh, have drawn him up here. Yeah, for sure. No fourth land is going to be a big, big problem as this Mayhem Devil makes its way onto the battlefield and we can start sacrificing things. Mm -hmm. Next turn, if we find our fourth land, Corvold's going to make an appearance too. So Matt really, 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 really has to find <laughs> land number four. Uh, I totally agree. Ex Extinction event, pretty strong as well. That'd be another option here. Um, but yeah, you need to have the option to play something Oof. here. And ugh. That's the real struggle from these four color decks. You know, there is just so many lands that come into play tapped that it's, it, it's going to happen that you're going to draw your land, but it's not going to be on time. Yeah. At least there's one play that Matt Sperling can make, and that is Narset Padra of Veils. Going to go digging for yeah. something to help keep these three threes at bay, finds mm -hmm. a Mythos of Nethroi. So that'll Pretty come shocked. handy. Pretty shocked to even see Narset in the deck post-board. Mm -hmm. um, this is a card, you know, in, in my testing that I found to be quite bad against these sacrifice decks, especially when you're on the draw. On the play, you can really, you know, do some nice things with it. Uh, but on the draw, it was, it was pretty brutal. But shutting down the drawing ability of Korvald is definitely relevant. Now we see a thought sees here from Strasky taking a look at this loaded hand. That's uh, so many options. What do you choose here? Snap, take one of those Nissa. No, I'm just totally kidding. That, <laughs> that is it. for sure what you would not want to take. They are not that great in multiples. I think for me, no chance I'm taking Nissa or Thoughtseize. Um, it's Extinction Event, Yasharn, or Mithros would be my considerations. Um, with your opponent being light on land, I think Yasharn is probably the one you would want but extinction event is very good right now yep extinction event's going to clean up this battlefield but uh, mayhem devil will make sure that narset part of Vale doesn't go digging further into the library and another planeswalker <laughs> the fairy hero of dominaria drawn off the top not it's ideal not going here. well and at this point matt would really like to uh, you know, save extinction event for this Korvald that he doesn't know about. But at this point, you might not have a have a real choice. But oh, okay. I like I like this what we're doing here. Looks like Matt is lining up Mithros on the Midnight Reaper. You're gonna sacrifice this to draw a card, deal a damage, and then you have two cards to look at to maybe get a target with this Thought Seize. Little, nice. Very you know, we, nice. We already know that there was going to be one juicy target, um, but it could have been a land, that last card. Could have been, and manages to find the Corvold Faker's King, so that won't be the next play as a Blood Crypt is drawn off the top of the library, so very nice sequence there from Matt Sperling. But still down at seven. Yeah. Needs to find removal and does with a Mythos of Nethroi. Could fire off that Extinction event too, but uh, Mythos of Nethroi will help just keep things in check after this Extinction uh. event resolves. Just the worst case scenario there for Andre, just needed to really find anything. He's so far ahead and drawing land land there was just so mm. brutal. And like, this was really the only way Matt could come back into this game is if just Andre flooded out horribly. So a yeah. little unfortunate for Andre and a nice sigh of relief for Matt. The classic battle of flood versus screw, but Midnight yeah. Reaper might be here to save the day. Mythos of Nethroi is going to be able to take care of this, or we're going to see an extinction event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flood versus Screw, when you actually draw your fifth land and you have four five mana Planeswalkers, that's usually pretty good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of those five mana Planeswalkers, here comes Nissa, who shakes the world down in the battlefield. 
going to be able to pad the life total. Well, excuse me, going to be able to prevent the uh, damage coming through from the Midnight Reaper next turn. But we're at four right now. I mean, a good draw like a Mayhem Devil or something would just push this over the edge. But another land! I like this. Go straight to face. Midnight Reaper is going to find something, hopefully, here for Andre mm -hmm. Strasky as this island is going to be on blocking duty. Big draw step. What do we find? Trail Ooh. of Crumbs. All right, that's a good one. That's a good way to filter through the library. Two yes. food tokens left over, so let's get munching. I think I know what I want to draw if I'm Andre, and that's a certain annoying uh, one drop that keeps coming back repeatedly. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> no, not you, Corvald. <laughs> And Silly even goof. worse, that that, blood, that Blooming Marsh was not an untapped land here just to add insult to injury because Andre <laughs> would have been able to sack another food yeah. and, and set up for next turn to uh, have another draw step, but just another brick. Hey, Corey, let's yeah. slow this down. Let's slow. Very nice. Very <laughs> nice impression. I'm pretty shocked. I guess not super shocked because one thing that we, oh man, I am just realizing oh this, this interaction with Teferi and Nissa is beyond absurd. Untapping two lands that total up to four mana, thanks to Nissa, is so mean. It is mean. So any instant speed interactions that uh, Nissa has, <laughs> or that uh, Matt Sperling has, is just going to be power, like super powered here by uh, Nissa and Teferi untapping lands. Yeah, one thing that I was thinking that Matt maybe um, should do here is to ferry and put Trail of Crumbs away because that card can really help catch up. But you mm -hmm. can just Mithros it now and then Aether Gust to play as well. So right now, everything's coming up, Matt. Yeah, so even being this screwed in terms of mana development, it hasn't mm -hmm. really hurt him at all because on the other side of the battlefield, Andre Strasky is being flooded here, but uh, does have the Corvold. It's not going to be long for this world. Either going to get gusted away or Mythos of Nethroid, as uh, Ether Gust is the card that Matt Sperling turns to to get rid of this powerful dragon. And doesn't choose to Mythros the trail makes sense. Right now, we're still looking for Cat. That would be the huge draw step here with only having one mana. Oh, not it. Um, just saving it for some big, bigger effect like another Corvald or something. I hate to say it, but I think Matt Sperling has turned the corner here, and Strasky is uh, struggling. He's going to have a hard time getting back into this with Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, and two powerful Planeswalkers available to Sperling. Yeah, I see Uro glowing in our uh, in our corner at the top screen there, and uh, that's good news for Matt, that's for sure. It's great news for Matt, and this deck that Strasky's running doesn't have any uh, Claim the Firstborns, nothing like that to help steal these permanents and try and you know get the win that way yeah and i want to remind everyone matt sperling in second place on the leaderboard for rivals only behind one of the greatest of all time luis scott vargas so if matt can get some much needed points here matt can easily be taking uh the the number one spot here after this tournament very much could. Everything's on the line here for these players. As uh, we're going to see two lands swing in and start doing damage. Put the foot down. The beat down is very much Matt Sperling. Noxious Grasp is the draw. Is it too little too late, though? <laughs> yeah, about three turns too late on that one. That's for sure. Yep. Maybe Cat enough... still does us something here, but... I, I don't even know if Cat can do it. I mean, there's another Corvold. But it's just, yeah, the, uh, with Uro down, with Teferi, with Nyssa, just continual pressure being applied here. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything Strasky can do to get back in this. Yeah, and I know you have a bunch of cats, and when they're hiding, it makes your day worse, I assume. So it makes sense that you want to have your cats in the open. <laughs> That's going to do it. Essence Scatter getting rid of that Corvold Faker's King. Nothing that uh, Strasky could do against that and Matt Sperling, except the victory there.